The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. Rainfall is pretty consistent right now and it has been for the last few hours, but a lot of this system through the earlier parts of today was falling further down towards the south. Now across our southern counties, we've seen about 0.75 inches. That's pretty common across parts of North Carolina, but with some of the heavier rain that fell in South Carolina, getting closer to two inches and then in parts of Alabama, where I think some of that rain was even higher, getting above two inches. I don't think any of us are going to end up with accumulations that high. We'll top out with accumulations above an inch in parts of south side. Now, from this point on into tomorrow morning, rain is not going to be as consistent as it has been. It's going to break up more and more. Like I was saying, I think there's that extra line that comes through West Virginia and brings some showers into the NRV and Highlands about 5 a.m. on Saturday. But that's kind of the last gasp of this system. By 9 a.m., we're pretty dry, and by noon, we're starting to clear out. We have a good amount of sunshine before the sun actually sets, and that's going to add on to the two inches of rain that we got throughout February. Now, technically this is counting yesterday's rain, so it hasn't quite switched over yet, but we got two inches through last month, which was a little bit below average, but not as drastically as we were earlier on. This rain that we get for tonight going into tomorrow will help get us closer to the March average. Now, September and October, November, all of those were actually below average for rainfall, but December and January definitely brought plenty through, which really helped us out. So having a little bit of drier weather in February wasn't too too much of a problem. We were in a pretty intense drought there for a while, especially as we got into late November in the first parts of December. But then as that moisture really got into the ground, it's kind of helped things out. We were even dealing with some fairly consistent flooding through parts of February or even into the later parts of January. Now that we've had some time to dry out and a little bit lighter rain, we're still pretty close to where we should be moisture wise compared to some points farther towards the west. Iowa right now is looking at some of the worst drought conditions on the eastern half of the country, but you've got to go either into Tennessee, North Carolina, or Ohio to get anywhere close for abnormally dry conditions. We're doing pretty okay rainfall wise, so even though February was below average, it's not a big deal right this minute. A lot of our temperatures through this weekend and into the start of next week stay consistently above average. That's despite the little pieces of rain that we've got early on Saturday. The sunshine helps us warm there. Monday, Tuesday, we stay pretty nice and dry. There is another system coming on Wednesday, and that is going to cool us down, but we'll stay above average as we get through Friday. I think even into that next weekend, there's low pressure that and the one that we're mostly focused on is this one that comes through Oklahoma as we get towards Monday. The one towards the north does drive some shower activity to us, but the one further to the south is going to pick up some extra moisture and keep us rainy for a while. Tonight we come back down to around 40. We're going to try to add 39 and then tomorrow our temperatures are mostly in the low 60s. We'll see a few more 60s in the next few days on the extended forecast by Monday. I think we're even closer to 70, but that next system will come through and cool us down, staying above average with lots of highs in the low to mid 60s. Expect pretty consistent rain Wednesday into Thursday morning and then again on Friday.